Hello everybody! Today I'm making a quick review of The Red Queen by Philippa Gregory. This is part of historical fiction that I really really love and it's part of the Cousins War um, which means the war between Lancaster and York House in England. It's set in 1450s uh, with um, the life of Margaret Beaufort which was called The Red Queen. Um, it's basically the life of Margaret and her struggles and her accession to the throne of England. So let's start with the name. The name of Red Queen was given to Margaret because she was part of the most bloodiest, ruthless rebellion in England where Englishmen was fighting Englishmen, where French uh, paid criminals were fighting English people, where princes were killed with within the family of York. So it was really a very bloody period of England and Margaret was part was a big part of it. So she was born in Lancaster House and ever since she was very young it was very clear for her that her fa for the most important thing for her family was the power in the state and accession to the throne of England. So all her marriages were strategic, her son was a strategic move, everything was for the purpose of, of getting the throne. So she got married when she was 12, she had her, or 13, she had her child when she was 14. Um, basically very, very strategic and very ruthless, I would say. Uh, she really wanted to have a saint purpose in her life. She heard the story of Jonah Dark and she really wanted to be that holy person that dedicates her life to some holy, um, goal but her family forced her to to play in this strategy so she had to do it but for the rest of her life she remained very religious um, this to some point was a good help for her because she was all lonely all the time but on the other hand she found justification for all her actions in the name of God so her will was the will of God and God's will must be done <coughs> What I really, really liked uh, was the character development. Besides the style, I really love Philippa Gregory's style. She has this storytelling style that never gets me bored or anything. Uh, there are descriptions here of her clothes, her ambience, uh, and I really like it because they don't go very much long and they keep you well informed of that time. Uh, so besides the style, I really like the character development. Throughout her life, Margaret becomes very strategic herself. She understands that she has to be like a fox and use whatever tool she can to fulfill her life purpose. Uh, so at her third marriage, uh, she married um, Lord Stamford. She is absolutely unrecognizable. <laughs> She's using all the tools in the book to be um, a winner in the winner's house. Um, throughout the, her life, she is always competing with whoever is the Queen of England or the wife of the king or the mother of the king because she has this huge objective to be uh, the mother of the king or and to be called Maria uh, to be called Margaret Regina uh, her the mother of the king or the royal mother of the king something like this so uh, a big part of her life she was uh, considering her biggest rival to be Elizabeth Woodville which was the Queen of England and um, she was always accusing Elizabeth to, to be very uh, uh, very um, uh, how's it called? Superficial when she, she was always always using her uh, beauty to get ahead, and for that uh, Margaret was a, a little bit jealous. And because of this jealousy, I googled it. I really wanted to see Elizabeth Woodville's portrait, and I will put a picture here of Elizabeth and one of Margaret, so you can compare and see how or what was the standard of beauty that day. All in all, I really like it and I recommend it to everybody that enjoys a little bit of historical events mixed with fiction and court uh, adventures. Um, four stars, really liked it and I'm looking for the next books in the Cousins War series, which I think it's the White Queen or something. 
have a great great weekend bye bye